of the fine folks at Shirley Fabrication in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I decided to wear my Alabama shirt. And I'm gonna show y'all what I just had delivered. After close to three years, maybe two and a half years of waiting, this monster is finally here. This is, I'm going to call her Big Shirley. All right. I just had took delivery of this beautiful piece of work about 7 o'clock last night, maybe 7.30. So I'm basically going to go through what, I got and everything I added. So as um, I go through it, I may leave some things out, but they will be found out later in other videos. So this is 24 by 60 elevated straight back. Uh, first off, I elevated the cabinet. I didn't elevate the warmer. I wanted them to be a little more uniform, so that's why I did it that way. I also added the hip roof. As you can see, hip roof on the main chamber, hip roof on the uh, warmer box. And as everybody says, the wells are basically immaculate. If you look through, no matter where you look on this thing, the wells are pretty much perfect. I mean, I don't really, I don't, I guess the wells don't matter, but to a perfectionist, they do matter, so they do them well. All right, first thing, I went ahead and added my Shirley Fabrication bottle opener. I have four Pro ports. I got one on the warmer box, and I also got three on the main chamber. At some point, I will upgrade the um, thermometers to the tail trues. I just forgot to order them and send them to Tyler. And shout out to Tyler. Thanks a lot, man. You did an excellent job on this thing. So I added the fold down shelf. So uh, I guess also we have the upgraded wheels as well, I added the um, spare tire. I didn't add a cover. I may order one for them later. I also or added the uh, the box here to hold firewood. Let's see. So, oh yeah. I mean, I guess this is probably standard now, but. I do have the um, damper system on the back. Also added an umbrella holder. Although now, normally I won't be cooking in the rain, but if I happen to leave with it somewhere, so that'll be good to have. All right, let's get this baby open. This is that tap that everybody always sees on people's videos. And I will say it's amazing to be able to do it. Yes, sir. All right. I only have three shelves. Actually, I didn't even really get into it last night. So here's my fire poker or uh, that they add with every smoker. So we got three layers of three levels of shelves. As you can see, the um, hip roof gives you a little bit of extra area. Up in the top, I went with the stainless steel shelf. Um, I'm guessing within maybe like a week or so, I will probably go ahead and order those um, tail true gauges to put them on here. But from what Paul says, you know, they will just fit right in. You just pop them in, screw them right in. Or maybe I'll wait till these wear out. Let's see. On to the warmer. So I got three shelves in the warmer. 
Also, I guess this is a heat deflector. I'm not, I'm not using it as an ash pan because I will not be doing any direct cooking inside the warmer, like open fire in the warmer at all because I want to save this baby. I also added the removable removable sausage rods and uh, even though i'm in florida i still decided to go with the insulated firebox because i felt like that was a good choice for longevity and i would not have to um, repaint this thing as often i'm sure at some point i will there's a removable fire basket i don't know what this is maybe this is just a <laughs> extra piece but yeah as you can see this thing is fully loaded i don't think i my advice is if you can do it if you can do it i would say add everything you wanted you know i added everything i wanted and i have zero regrets you know and basically what i did you you know, if you choose to do this, from the time I put my deposit down, I started sending 100 to $150 every two weeks. And, you know, throughout the wait, it didn't take me much to, to finish it off. So it wasn't as big of a hit. But, uh, yeah, I just want you all to see this uh, masterpiece that was just delivered. At some point today, I will be seasoning her up and hopefully either later today or tomorrow, we will throw on the first piece of meat. I know this is going to be a short video, but I just wanted to kind of introduce you guys to the, the latest member of the Emergency Ribs family. All right. Please like and subscribe. I will be posting videos of uh, this beast very soon. Later.